Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you everybody had a good vacation. Nobody uh, stressed out too much about school, but we're back at it. And we're going to start unit five. Uh, this video is going to be about how to graph equations. So you will be given an equation and you are going to take that equation and turn it into a line on a graph. I'm going to go through a few uh, simple steps. It's not these don't cover everything, but they do kind of guide you in the right direction. So if you have notes, I would definitely advise writing everything that I write down. You can always pause the video to draw the graphs uh, as needed. So when graphing equations, we are going to plug in X values to get Y values. That's the main concept. Plug in X to get your Y. In order to do that, we're going to make a table and it's going to be an XY table. And you'll see what that looks like on the next screen. And we're going to pick easy X values to plug into the equation. Usually these easy values are small numbers, negative one, zero, one, negative two, zero, two, things like that. Easy numbers. Then we're going to solve the equations with those X values that we picked and graph the coordinates. And this will all make sense here very soon. So here we have the equation Y equals 2X plus 1. Y equals 2X plus 1. And this is the table I drew. Uh, I have the X, I have the equation in the middle, and the Y. Now, this part is going to be empty, but I want you to fill it in with what I called easy numbers. Our easy numbers for X are always going to be something like negative 1, 0, 1. The next screen's got negative 2, 0, 2. But basically, you get to pick whatever these are. So whatever things are easy for you, that's what I would go with. It is good to always have at least one negative X value. Uh, that way you kind of have a, good, a better idea of where your line goes. And in the middle, we have the equation. Now, for each X value, you see I've got negative 1. I wrote the equation. I wrote the equation next to 0, and I wrote the equation next to 1. What's going to happen, we're going to take the X values and plug it into the equation. So we have 2X plus 1. And instead of X down below, I took the X out because these are the next X values. So let's look at negative one. I made X negative one. So I'm gonna plug negative one in where X was. So now my equation says two times negative one plus one. Whatever the answer is to this equation, that is what I put for Y. So two times negative one is negative two. And negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So when x is negative 1, y is negative 1. I do the same concept with 0. So instead of x right here, I plug in the value I chose for x, which is 0 here. 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 1 gives me 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. The last one is a 1. Instead of x, I plug in the x value, which is 1. I chose this. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Now I've got x and y values. And when you have an x and a y value, you have coordinates. So when x is negative 1, y is also negative 1, according to my table. When x is 0, y is 1. And when x is 1, y is three. And these are the coordinates I'm going to use to make my line on a graph. So the next page, I've got a graph with the exact same coordinates right here. I'm going to plot those points. Negative one, one is my first point. Negative one, one. That's where negative one, one is. The next point is zero, one. Oh, I did the first point wrong. First point is negative one, negative one. Negative one, negative one is here. Negative one, negative one. The next point is zero, one. Zero, one is right here. And the next point is one, three. Over one, up three. And these three dots will form a line. And this is the slope of the line that we had in the equation. This is a positive slope. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do another one. If you want to pause the video and see if you can attempt this one on your own, you can. I've set the table again for you. 
this time I chose different values for X just to kind of show you that they don't always have to be the same. We can choose whatever we want for these X values. Remember, you're given a blank table. You're going to have to set it up. Uh, our equation is Y equals negative three X plus negative three times X plus two. So in my table, I've got my X on my left. My equation goes in the middle, my Y on the right, and I can choose any values I want for the X's. So this time I chose negative two, zero, and two. So I bring my, I've written my equation for each X value that I put, but instead of X, I left it blank because I'm going to fill it in with the X values that I chose. The first one, I had X at negative two, negative three times negative two plus two. What does that get me? Well, three times two is six, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So I get positive six plus two is eight. The next one, I'm gonna plug in zero for x. Anything times zero is zero, so zero plus two is two. And then the last one is a two. So negative three times two, three times two is six, a negative times a positive is negative six, and negative six plus two is negative, ooh, weird, negative four. So my points that I get are the coordinates when x is negative two, y is eight. When x is zero, y is two. And when x is two, y is negative four. These are my coordinates, which I will then now graph on the coordinate plane. Uh, I do want to go backtrack just a second. You will have all sorts of numbers here in front of X. This one is a negative. Uh, so be prepared to see a lot of negatives. Um, and you might have fractions, you might have decimals, things like that. So here are our points. Our first point that we had is negative two, eight. So here we go over to negative two and then up to the eight. Eight's out of our coordinate plane. So I'll put the dot right there. I guess that's where it would be. Zero, two, I don't go over left or right zero at all, but I go up two. And two, negative four, go over to the positive two and then down four. Remember, we always go side to side before we go uh, up and down. And my my dots do form a line. If they never formed a line, then you know when you're when you're uh, when you plugged in X, one of the values you got for Y would have to be incorrect. So I get a straight line. It goes through all three dots. Unlike the first line, this is a negative slope because it's going down. It's going down. We read lines like we read words from left to right. So left to right is going down. It's negative. The first one was positive. Uh, okay. We've got two more to go over. Number three, if you notice now, we have a fraction in front of our variable. So I kept it negative two, zero, two. I'll go ahead and erase this. So once again, you'll be given a blank table. X goes on the left, the equation goes in the middle, and Y goes on the right. And our equation is one half X minus one. So for our X values, I'm gonna pick negative two, uh, they can be anything you want, but I'm going to go ahead and pick some easy numbers. Negative 2, 0, 2. So what goes here in the middle? I've got to write the equation, but I'm going to leave X out. And I'm going to plug in the value that I chose for X, which is negative 2. So let's see, 1 half times 2 is 1 and the positive times a negative is a negative. So negative one minus one gives me negative two. Now I've got to do it for the zero X value. One half times zero minus one. One anything times zero is zero. Zero minus one gives me negative one. And the last one, one half times, instead of X, I plug in two and then minus one, one half times two is one, and one minus one is zero. If you also notice, there's a pattern here with the Y values, pattern. They're always going up by one. Uh, so X, Y, we've got our coordinates now. When X is negative two, Y is also negative two. When X is zero, Y is negative one. And when X is two, Y is zero. And we're going to plot these points on the graph. 
So I'm going to plot negative 2, negative 2. So we go over to the negative 2 and then down to the negative 2. 0, negative 1. Don't go left to right at all, but then I go down 1 because remember, x always goes side to side. y goes up and down. And 2, 0. So x is 2, so I go over 2, but I don't go up or down at all. It's 0. And my three dots are in a line. This is the line that that equation forms. So once again, we read lines like we read words from left to right, and this is going up. So it is a positive slope. And the last one we have is y equals negative x minus 2. y equals negative x minus 2. Here is my table. x is on the left, the equation in the middle, y is on the right. And I'm going to pick for my x values, negative 1, 0, and 1. If you want to pause it and try and solve this on your own, you're more than welcome. Uh, one big thing here is I bring... I write everything, everything except for the x. A lot of kids get in the habit of doing this. Oh, it's negative x, so I'm just going to write negative 1 minus 2. Well, that would be wrong. That would be wrong. You need to bring everything down except the x. And when I mean everything, I mean everything, even what's in front of the x. So this equation is negative, then that's where your x would go, minus 2. And what number do we have for x? We have negative 1. So it should be negative negative 1 minus 2. These two negatives in a row, we learned this in unit 1, two negatives back to back like this make a positive. So this is actually positive 1 minus 2, which gives me negative 1. Here, the next one, bring down the negative, plug in 0 for x minus 2. This is just 0, uh, negative, you can't have negative 0, so it's just 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And then lastly, we bring, still bring in that negative. And instead of x, we plug in our value that we chose, which is a 1. And this is negative 1 minus 2 gives me negative 3. So my x, y values, oops. when x is negative 1, y is negative 1. When x is 0, y is negative 2. And when x is 1, y is negative 3. And we are going to graph those coordinates on the plane. Here they are. Negative 1. Negative 1 is our first, uh, first point. X goes side to side. So go to find the negative 1. And then from here, go down to negative 1. When X is 0, so now I'm not moving left to right at all. Y is negative 2. Go down to negative 2. And the last one, 1, 3. So X is 1. So I find the positive 1 on the side. And I go down three. And here I have my line that creates a, remember we read lines like we read words from left to right, a negative slope. So it's going down a negative slope. That's all for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, let us know, email us or uh, you know, contact us somehow through Schoology. I hope this video helped you and good luck on the assignment. Have a good day.